Shantiniketan gets the UNESCO tag of a heritage, heritage site. I am glad to see that after quite a long time, Shantiniketan, my dear alumni, had been taken by the UNESCO Heritage Deciding Committee to get this rare tag. Shantiniketan, I don't know how many Indians today know what is going on there. I was a student there for four years from 55 to 59 when it was a very small community like a family and then the great Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was alive and he was the Chancellor Acharya of the university and he used to come every year dutifully and he was a great admirer of great poet Rabindranath Chagur and here today what I want to say is not about the physical description of the site there are many immortal sites there that will remain undiminished through the ages. So what I want to say here is not everything but certain things. The first building built by Tagore's father, Devendranath Tagore, was named Santinigedan, Babod of Peace. Then this name was adopted by the entire community which when I was there even comprised some 500 acres of land and the nearby setup are called Sriniketan devoted to rural development also had a good space of land bought from the legendary Lord Singha of Raipur a great name in 19th century England to a friend of Tagore. My, today's my interest in saying things about Santhani Gyadhan is that it is the only university in India which had produced two Nobel laureates. Unfortunately, our current mentality in politics, society and economy is such we have forgotten what is a lasting institution? What will bring an institution lasting name and fame? Today, we don't know. When Tagore got the Nobel Prize in 1913, Nobel Prize itself was some only 10 years old. 19, I think, 11 or 1901, it was started. And the first recipient was none other than the much reviled today British imperialist poet Rudyard Kipling. At that time, what the British thought best in the world was recognized by the rest of the world. Today, things have changed and Professor Amartya Sen, my great friend, when I was there for four years, was the winner of the prize, second time. And if you visit today to see what is Shantani Gheran, you will be disappointed to see some trees under which classes are held and very humble surroundings. The point I want to say today, emphasize today is education means something that leads your mind to think freely and originally and innovatively and that's how Tagore's poetry Gita Anjali got the Nobel Prize. You have all read Gidanchali, I hope if you haven't, please kindly go through this small book and you will be taken to another world of joy and happiness and freedom and then you will realize why it was chosen for that great prize. So too Amartya Sen, a very simple, humble looking man, belongs to the Santaniketan family of ashramites and who won this prize at such an young age and that's another mark of distinction about this great institution. Shantaniketan is founded 
on the great Indian philosophy of Brahmo Samaj. Brahmo Samaj is a movement started by the great Raja Ram Mohan Roy, a friend of Tagore and Tagore's grandfather Dwaraganath Tagore and Raja Ram Mohan Roy were the pioneers of this Brahmo Samaj. A, a, it's a great philosophy and if you go there, there are symbols of this Brahma Samaj which started as an alternative to what is all then considered the great things based on British superior superiority complex. Tagore won this prize because of the originality of thought and the introduction to Gitanjali, if you read by the great Irish poet W.B. Yeats, you will realize how this humble spot came to transform the entire thinking of India. India under Gandhi and Nehru, they all they were frequent visitors. Their history is to be told separately and when you go to Shantiniketan, you will see Kalabhavan Art School and the sculptor Ram Kinkar made great sculptures which are standing there today. And Sriniketan is one rural development center conceived by Tagore and developed by great statistician PC Mahalal Obis and the great English couple, Elmist couple who donated money to develop. There are so many controversies today about Shantini Gedan and this we must all brush aside and see things in their original pristine beauty and glory. Thank you.